Let's make the whole hunter primary clan. And let's go. There's also different clans we can unlock. Seven brutes is too much. If I just duplicate the brute and have three, then I think we go much better. Final boss, Seraph the Chast. It tells you the final boss. Cool. The end is near. This incarnation, this incarnation of Hell's greatest foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. This fight will require much more than sheer strength. So, I'm supposed to know what that means. I'm supposed to know how to plan around that. I don't know how to plan around that right now. But I, I appreciate the information. So we can make this guy... A Reaper or a Brawler? Now a Reaper is, after he gets a killing blow, he gets 10 strength. He scales up. A Brawler... Gives him multi-strike. We're doing Slay. We're gonna have a Scaler. I like it. Alright, we can get a choose an artifact. So this is how a typical run goes. I'm, I'm assuming this is like a normal run. You get to choose an upgrade at the beginning and you get to choose your artifacts. Rage does not decay on friendly units. Spells gain an up... Oh my god. Holy shit. This feels insane. Rage does not decay on friendly units. But my, my champion doesn't scale up rage, he chails off of like, a killing things. But if I give him rage stuff and rage doesn't decay, then he becomes huge. I can just do it. Also, the ability to have more upgrades in my spells might be interesting, but that's a lot of gold, right? For, for you spend three worth, gold worth in upgrades. I don't know, maybe that's good. To me, the rage not decaying seems good from what I've seen. Alright, we get a trial. At the start of battle, enemies of units appear on each floor. You get extra 50 gold for that. On. These disciples have been granted special power over the light of Seraph, making them harder to kill than other disciples. Let's put the trial on and get some money. Please don't kill me. The artifacts are insane. At the start of battle, enemies appear on each floor. Got it. Holy shit on a stick. He didn't mention it was like that, sir. The problem is this guy. But if they don't have space for the enemies. Oh right, well, my guy just dies now because they just do five each. Uh, so here's what we have to do. Because they have, what is it? What, uh, can I hover over this? What does that? What does that mean? I can't see what that means. Oh, they have rage. Okay. So then they. So they can't move. Oh, but he already goes up. Ah. That's how that works. So now we need to put something in front of this guy. He's, he's beefy. He has a lot of strength already. Let's keep putting the steward in front. Uh, we keep torching these guys. What's in the back? Triggers on death. Gain 50 gold. Flees from battle if not rooted or dazed. Wait. If it's not rooted from dazed, it flees from battle? So you're telling me I can't... I can't just torch this? Should we try? <laughs> Liar. We weren't rooted or days, we're burned. Okay, so we're losing pyre health for gold. Basically what I'm I'm trading pyre health for gold here. I think that's worth it. We get less score, but who cares? We're trading power health for gold. That's what we're doing right now. And that, like, they can't get past this. This is a, this is a good setup. I want to get this guy more region. Oh, he does that. Oh, shit. Uh, I might as well put this there. And do this. Because he has four life, so I want to get- I want that guy to be a little bit- I want that guy to be able to take two attacks. 
Because if he takes two attacks, then the guy in the back kills him. So now... Since this guy can take two attacks, this guy's dead for free. I just one-shot him anyways. Look at that. My scaler. Boom. So my champion... My champion's nuts. Slay is a powerful mechanic. So now we get even more gold, and we get some more stuff. So now we're rich. We're already doing work. So we want stuff that gives us rage, right? That little imp that gives us rage, that doesn't decay now. That's really good. Some ran, Return a random consumed spell to your hand. This is exhume, but it's random. It was great in that because those have one life, but I, I can imagine... It's not going to be so easy to kill things in the future. Absolutely. Apply armor to the fr This is pretty good, right? So having the ability to make the guy in the front have more armor means my guy who's a slayer... Stays alive longer. There's also a world where you get the pierce to butter up a guy so that he dies to my champion. So I take a little bit of damage, like I do damage to make sure that he actually dies to the champion and my champion gets stronger, right? Uh, deal damage, 5 damage to the front enemy unit and draw 1 next turn. Deal 3 damage, move that unit to the front. Oh, that's really good. You can take a unit from the back and be like, hey, come to the front. Let my slayer smack you up. Restore 2 health to all friendly units and deal 2 damage to all enemy units. I like Glimmer, because that can kind of be like a little bit of extra to make my units stay alive longer. Especially my Slayer who has a lot of damage if he stays alive. And a little bit of damage to the enemies so that maybe my Slayer gets a kill. So little pings here and there where like I have a little bit more life so I can stay alive. But they have a little bit less life so that they can die. So I want my units to get new powers. I want to upgrade my spells. So currently my deck is mainly spells. I don't really have units. I can upgrade my Welder Helper, or I can try to upgrade things like Glimmer. I'm going to go upgrade some spells and get some coins. So upgrade a spell with plus the magic power. Upgrade a spell to gain double stack. Double stack uh, status effects add, added by this are doubled. So I want to see an example of this. An example of this would be like Restore. Instead of doing Region 1, it does Region 2. Now. That's a wasted upgrade on that card, but Stackstone is good for other cards. Now, if we do Power Stone, it'd be good for like restore 12 health to units and deal 12 AOE damage. So that seems kind of insane. Twelve health is a little bit much, but as the game goes on, I feel like 12 is like doable, right? And then dealing 12 AOE seems kind of nuts. In my opinion. <laughs> And I want to remove some cards. <laughs> do we want all these? I do, I do. Let's remove some of these. Do we, do we remove Torch first? Nah, I think Torch is useful. Let's remove one of these restores. <laughs> Let's leave. Uh, upgrade a spell that costs minus one. I want to save... Mm, I mean, getting energy... Let me see. Who would I upgrade? <laughs> Glimmer? But I, I think I can get a better upgrade for Glimmer, right? Well, actually, I don't know. Well, no, so Stackstone doesn't work anymore on like things like that. It's only for like st status effects like Restore or other things. <laughs> Let's try this. Save some money. And the next shop would be pretty good for us. Is there anything that applies stacks? Exactly. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from a fire will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Enemy units enter with armor 5. Okay. Uh... Additional reward, we get to draft a unit. Now, the and final boss is the Steel Slate. He has 3 damage, but 120 life. And he has 2 spikes. So whenever he's attacked, the attacker takes 1 damage back per stack. So 2 damage back. So he has 120 life, and we're taking 2 damage every time we attack him, which is quite a lot. And he does 3 damage himself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for this. I'm going to get as strong as possible. So I'm going to take all the trials. I'm taking all the trials. Enemies enter with five armor. So this guy enchant other friendly units on the same floor to get spikes. Huh? That's unfortunate because he's much harder to kill now. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, now I don't have torch for this guy. Uh, I would like to kill the collector, please. Fuck. Damn, that's 50 gold right there. Unlucky. Fine. Give me that gold. Maybe I don't waste region. It might have been a too too quick of a use of uh. It might have been too quick of a use of what's it called? Wait, my slay is already popping off though. Okay. Can I make it so that my slay's gonna kill that guy, but that guy's gonna live? So let's do this. Infinite glimmers, I know, I know. It was a good use of glimmer. That's 50 gold, it's not bad. Alright, this guy's already. Oh shit. It's the final boss already. Ah. Uh, oh shit. This guy's dead because he has four spikes. Fuck. Horse bikes is nuts. I need my guy in the front to lay, live alive, lay, stay alive a little bit longer because my guy has 35 damage. It's pretty good. Oh, this guy, the boss is dead. And now my guy doesn't die. My, my champion stays alive. Because he doesn't die to spikes now. Dude, that restore was insane. Restore made it so my guy didn't die. It was nuts. That was really, really good. We killed the boss in two turns. We also did a trial bonus. So now I get to draft a unit and we get some more gold. We're getting really rich. All right. Apply rage. This is really good because rage doesn't disappear. So I'm going to say absolutely. We can also do a send. So now we can move units between floors. That's really good, but I gotta take the rage, but I'm just saying the ability to move my unit is quite cool So Wildwood custodian you put this on the top floor and you draw an extra card each turn while he's alive So a little unit you just keep away from the battle it gives you some value kind of like in hearthstone when you have like these little totems or Things that you want to keep alive that are kind of vulnerable Interesting deal three damage with you to the front. I think the more I've been playing, the more I think that moving a unit to the front is quite useful for things like my Slayer, so that he can get a kill, and I can get some of the squishy stuff in the back. There's a lot of times where there's some really vulnerable stuff in the back, but I can't actually get to them, and Torch is not good enough, right? So since Torch is not good enough, maybe Vine Grasp is how I handle that. But I'm also kind of curious to get extra card draw turn, because if I get card draw, then I can get Glimmer more often, right? All right. Animus of Will, multi-strike 2, he does 3 times 3 damage, he has 3 life. You put him in the back, he does 3, 3, 3, 3. Revenge, gain 1 energy. So, if this guy gets damaged, I get energy. This is an energy source. He has 30 life, that's a good unit. If you give him rage, he's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, and rage doesn't go down. So now... Since I have the ability to give him 3 rage, which is 6 strength, he's actually doing uh, 9 times 3. This is a 9 times 3 unit in the back line. I'm going to take the, the, this big this big brute, but I think multi-strike I should be prioritizing because I have the artifact for rage. I should prioritize that probably. Duplicate any card except for your champion. Let's take a look. Can I duplicate my glimmer? Wait, I can duplicate my Glimmer? You telling me I can do that? Or do I just duplicate my guy like his Rage so I can keep scaling with Rage? So there's a world where I can do this, guys. I could do Fledgling Imp for Rage, 
torch him and play, uh, play another one. And we just like scale like that. Okay. Get a unit. Upgrade my spells. Let's, let's duplicate my uh, my glimmer here. That's nuts. All right, let's get this. What do we got? A fissure in the ice versus forces. This. Okay, so you throw something in, and we can get a copy, or we could get five copies. Um, would we ever want? What's up, K Bone? Yeah, it's, uh, it's inspired by it. Do we want? Do we ever want five glimmers? In all honesty, because I regret doing what I did last time and getting five cards. But I wouldn't mind like a three glimmers. Even from safe distance, the energy is almost too strong to endure. But it has been the intended consequences of duplicating your forces. An extra imp seems good as well. True. The the ability to have more rage imps is really good as well. Alright, we got to deal this. I gotta feed my dogs, guys. I'll be right back. Wait, I don't gotta feed them. I gotta walk them. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Trying to go anywhere. I'll be back as soon as I can. I am just gonna take like a five minute break to walk my dogs. It's a cool game, guys. I'm I'm curious. It's got my intrigue. We'll be up to speed shortly. Uh, where's the dog thing? Okay, thank you guys for being patient. We're back. Daedalus. This guy has double barrel constructed explosives explode twice. So if he constructed explosives, we gotta be careful because they will blow up twice. There's no trial I could do here either. I think with our Slayer, we have a lot more damage output though. As long as we have a good tank for the guy in the front. So I kind of want to like, these guys explode twice, it's crazy. I want to make sure that my wilting sapwood is in front of my slayer on average. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put glimmer here. So glimmer just literally kills all, this, this whole, this whole... Okay, the only problem is that my guy is not getting the ability to slay. And if I end my turn... This guy explodes before I can kill him, right? This guy explodes before I can kill him. Unfortunately, but I can heal this guy with Glimmer, so it's fine. It is what it is. I'll put this up on top so I can draw some cards. I want my, my guy to have the ability to get some card draw. I mean, I can use Glimmer because... Uh, I just wasted just waste Torch, basically. I gained energy because that guy got hit. Which is really nice, but I, don't, I actually don't have like expensive cards to utilize with the energy. But I do have extra card draw, so that could be useful. So my final my guy gets to slay, which is quite nice. Let's keep this guy alive. I'm going to Glimmer down here. And I'll just put these little two guys right here. So they'll be like my, my first line of defense. The problem here is my guy is not getting slayed, so I gotta make sure he gets some slay stuff going on. And also, I fucked up in a way, I don't have space for my rage unit, so I can put the rage unit on the bottom. But the glimmers, since we have card draw, we're gonna be seeing glimmers more often, this is actually quite nice. I can put this in guy- so I have a question, I don't know if you guys know or not. If I if my unit dead dies in battle, can I play it again in battle later on? Uh, the reason why because I have the full release because I got contact better by, by the people to try out the game, so I wasn't sure there was an embargo or not. But I, yeah, I got contact to try out the game. I want my imps to be on the. I mean, alright, we'll do this then. So we'll torch. What does this do? Moves directly from the first floor to the third floor. Uh, get out of here, buddy. Let's do that. And my guy is still dead, unfortunately. 
I also lost my. I forgot to torch to like, keep my 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 draw guy alive. I just fucked up. I'm supposed to keep my draw guy alive. Whoopsies. I'm supposed to keep my draw guy alive. This guy's doing so much damage. I can I can damage the boss with this. I can still damage the boss with this. I kind of want to hold on to it. I can't even play my welder helper. All right, I'll do this. That guy heals up. I, I need him to be tanky so that when the boss comes and attacks, this guy at least. So this is like my my floor, of my where I'm killing the boss. I'm gonna call it my boss floor kill. Or my boss killing floor. So when he comes in, I want this guy to be tanking like crazy, and my guy in the back slaying like crazy. So like, I want to save Glimmer for... Um, I, I guess I can't really save Glimmer because... If I give him regen, he dies anyways, so... Unfortunately, we don't have cards anymore because we didn't save our Custodian, so now we will be getting Glimmer more often. But this floor is going to be very powerful. He's going to die. But... If I, if I give him three restores, so he takes eight, then he restores for three, right? I, I, can we make him take an extra hit? Uh, well, he's already dead, so GG. Beautiful, look at that. Bam! Cool. So we get a rare pack, we get to get, choose a unit, and we get major enhancements. I'm excited for that. We got 75 coins. We have a lot of money. Imp blade. Deal damage to the front enemy equal to 20 times the number of imp units in your deck. Currently, I've got two imps. So I do 40 damage. That's a spell that doesn't leave my deck. It's a 40 damage attack card. Holy shit. But it should be mentioned that if I get... If I play the imps, does that card do less damage, or is it only at the start of the battle does it determine the damage? Or is or is that contextual? It's important to know if it's contextual, because if I don't have any imps in my deck towards the end of the boss fight, then I just do zero damage. Enhancing unit with plus 10 life and apply spikes. Now, enhance is cool because I can make my slayer stronger, but the spikes is a little bit awkward. Consume double armor on a unit. I'm going to try to impulate. I guess I can give this to my front line. Give my front line a crazy amount of spikes. And if they, my front line has spikes, well then my Slayer can kill him easier. All right. Gain 40 max health. Rejuvenate. Triggers when healed, even at full health. Oh, shit. And we have a lot of healing. So it gets 40 max health. It's a big tanky turtle, which is great. More tanks for my Slayer. And then he can scale up. When you summon this guy, he gains 50 max health. He also gains spikes when you heal him. A little bit, a little bit tankier, but I feel like Awoken Hollow is a little bit better, unless we value spikes. And Sweep. This attacks all enemies, so this does 3 damage to everything. Now if we apply Rage, that's potentially 9 damage to everything. We have a lot of glimmers, so I don't think I'm worried about AoE at the moment. I think I want a better tank. More energy per turn. Now, we just added cards that cost how much? Three. No, oh, one cost. A lot of one cost. We have a lot of one cost stuff. But we do have card draw with the Custodian. And the Custodian card draw might mean we want more energy. But maybe I just want to draw more per turn. And if I draw more per turn, I see glimmer more often, right? Because glimmer is free. And we... we at the moment, I feel like Glimmer is pretty decent, so I could just draw more cards. And if I have the Custodian on the top, I'm drawing seven cards a turn, like Snekawai, and I'm playing a lot of Glimmers. Now, if we do Light of Seraph, we can play a tank, my champion, and something in the middle, like Rage. Now, Rage is not as good because my guy doesn't have multi-hit. Light of Seraph, is, these are all very good. 
kind of want the card draw. I think I would take the, the, the energy because I have Cycle of Life. I have some expensive cards now. So my overall my overall deck got a little, a little bit more expensive. I'll, I'll take the Ember here. And having four Embers, it opens up more possibilities. So I can forge no, your units to get more. We can upgrade my units. We can get a new Awoken unit and we can remove two cards from my deck. Or we can gain gold, gain a relic. And up, can I upgrade my champion regardless? Okay, so I can upgrade my champion, which is really nice. I can get a relic. It looks like their artifacts are pretty good. I don't need the spire health, the pyre health. Um, what unit would I want to upgrade though? Maybe want to upgrade the fledgling imp or the Wiccan hollow. And what would I remove? Maybe I remove these train stewards at this point. So the artifacts seem insane from what I've seen, but actually, maybe I remove the torches at this point. I think I value removal a little bit because my deck is a little fat. Artifact versus removal. I do value removal here, right? Because we we kind of do want to get rid of some of these uh, torches, yeah. That's a lot of gold, though. I'm gonna do this. Let's go and see what we got here. So, a unit has four spikes. Give a unit rage, and rage doesn't decrease. So we can give a unit rage and multi strike, right? And remember, it doesn't decrease. So who would want rage? I don't have any multi hitters. That's unfortunate, right? I didn't take a multi hitter. That would have been sick, though. Ah, uh, you can check other units bef before you can do that. Ah, you can. Oh, this is all at once. Okay. Another awoken hollow. Do I want another beefy tank? Let's remove a torch. You want to remove a steward? Like I don't need these two stewards. Ah. Do I want? I can remove. Up to three, I can have three torches or I can have three stewards. Which one's better? I value restore a little bit more because now I have rejuvenate on my units. Let's remove one of these stewards. Two cost for five, eight, not that great. Um, all right. I don't even think I want to give a unit rage, I give a unit multi strike. That multi strike is pretty useful. So, for instance, given my Woken Hollow, multi strike is kind of insane. It might do too much damage. But, like, this is going to be a very powerful unit. <laughs> At this point, I might give it Rage. The thing is, it's going to it's gonna do too much damage that my champion is not going to even get to, like, play the game. Let's remove another imp at this point. Let's upgrade our champion. So now our champion has even more slay or armor and rage. Now rage is good because when you s rage doesn't go down and then when you slay you gain armor. So it, it gives it some ability to stay alive. Or we can go reaper level 2. We can make this thing like the ultimate slayer and get crap ton of strength every time it kills. I'm saving some gold for another shop. I'm, I'm not assuming the game's over just yet. I'm pretty sure we have more stuff coming, right? So I'm saving some gold. This is interesting though, because like it gains armor when it slays as well as the strength and then it also just gets a little bit more strength to begin with. It gets six strength to begin with. It feels like this might just be better. I feel like this might just be better because rage doesn't go down. So that makes it better. Alrighty. Clip Tormentors. They might be low level recruits, recruits with the clips, but they'll overload you with penance if you don't take them out quickly. We have a lot of glimmers for this fight. 
Non-boss enemies enter with four spikes. We get a random artifacts. Absolutely. If it says random artifacts, I'm taking the trial 100% of the time. Not to mention, I feel like I'm pretty strong. And I have glimmers to manage these multi-hits guys, right? So, this guy has 40 armor. That's unfortunate. This guy... If I put this guy here... Awoken Hollow, then Homebreaker Prince... I can actually kill... This guy in the front. Actually, I do too much damage. Wait, so if I do this... I might as well glimmer here, alright? If I don't glimmer, this guy gets slay. If I don't glimmer, this guy gets to slay. No, what am I saying? This guy is... Sorry, he has rage 5? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I did the math wrong. This guy just kills that guy and this guy slays in the back. Oh, he... Oh. He, doesn't, he has max health, but he doesn't heal it. Ah. Alright, this is fine. So I don't get slay, but that's whatever. That's a big boy. Uh, I can't torch it. No, that's my gold. I want my gold. Oh shit! Can't get it, huh? Doesn't die though. No, but she flees at the after combat, right? Oh, after combat is resolved. Holy shit, it's after combat. Easy. So my guy my guy gets slay. Look at this. My guy gets slay. Look at this. Boom. Oh, he's my champion is beefy. I'm getting some armor, she stays alive. I need my guy in the front to live a little bit more, so I'm gonna restore health. And now this guy's getting bigger because I keep healing him. And I make this guy even tankier. My guy's a beast. He's taking away all the slay potential, which is unfortunate, but he's also a beast in his own right. Let's put this up there so I can keep drawing. So now what I want this guy to let me draw more into more glimmers, into more things. I don't even want these stewards, but I want them out of my deck. What I do want is want those out of my deck. A brief respite. Are you sure you want to give me a brief respite? Because I cycle life again. Oh my guy, my guy's a beefy boy. All right, final wave. Well, we gotta, we gotta survive now. Oh, I already won. He's already dead. Oh, I mean, this guy is better than my champion. we got wait we did the the thing right the trial random, random artifact where is it there it is cool you can skip artifacts when you summon the second unit during a turn you gain through energy why would you ever skip that absolutely take that deal damage for the front enemy unit equal to four times the amount of armor on friendly units i don't i get armor for my slayer but that's not that great but when you summon, you gain energy. Eh. 
Return a random consumed spell to your hand. Now, what cards consume? If I have a good consumed spell, I might take that. I don't think I do. Now, I could take a speculative card like that for future consumed cards. But at the moment, I don't have consumed cards. So, I'm going to just skip. And here's a consumed spell. <laughs> Draw three next turn. Apply Rooted to an enemy unit, draw one. So Rooted could be useful sometimes for that little girl that runs away. And we draw more next turn and we root an enemy so it, it does not get to move between floors, which could be quite useful. Or you can add three stings, which is a zero cost spell that does five damage to the enemy unit and draw one next turn. It's a zero cost spell that makes me draw three cards the following turn and does five damage divided by, like, okay, as, as I choose. So, isn't that just better than Invigorating Solution? It does bloat the deck. That's the difference. It bloats the deck. Whereas this doesn't bloat the deck. This gives me shivs that don't exhaust, but they draw next turn. This gives me just extra draw next turn. I feel like the ability to root something might be quite useful. I feel like the ability to... The root something might be quite useful. I, I like little pingers like this, but I don't know. I have to draw back into this thing, so I don't like that as much. But I don't want to keep drawing into ensnare either. So I'd rather just take the solution, something that consumes and makes me have a bigger power spike, and I just keep doing everything else my deck wants to do. I just want to keep doing everything else, which is like glimmers and stuff like that. Um. Well, I want my units to be. So now I kind of want to keep removing, because my deck can do some nasty things. So like, if I remove the Train Steward and like a Torch, then I'm just drawn to spells more often, and I'm kind of breaking the game, I feel like. If I remove uh, one more Torch, one more Train Steward. The alternative is, is to forge my spells. What spells? So I have Cycle of Life now, right? And Cycle of Life is kind of insane. Maybe I want to upgrade Cycle of Life. That's a pretty insane card. And then I can get a duplication, so I can duplicate Glimmer again, or I can duplicate, um, for instance, Invigorating Solution. Or I can duplicate Cycle of Life. That's an artifact, though. They're not always a duplicate. Okay, that's good to know. What unit wants to be upgraded? I mean, I could make two Awoken Hollows that are just as beefy and crazy as the other guy that I just had. This has Multi-Strike Rage. I could do that with this guy. So I have two Multi-Strike Ragers. I kind of want to upgrade Spike Cycle of Life. But I do also value removing. Because my deck is kind of nice. So I would like to kind of make it lean. Uh, I'm going to go for the random event. I want to see what the event is anyways. I want to do the upgrades before I do this, right? So, can this give me random cards? If it gives me random cards, maybe I should do this first. I know it's an artifact. Artifacts are kind of insane. And lean and mean is also kind of an interesting concept. I'm going to do this first. 420 gold. Let's go. So, let's see. These are not the best upgrades, unfortunately. Yeah, not the best upgrades. I mean, restore could be useful because, honestly, I have beefy tanks. So, at this point, restore could be useful. I can also refresh. One play, this card just plays the top of your drop out. I mean, holdover is probably pretty good on. Is it gonna cycle of life? Is there any? Do I want to get cycle of life more over and over again? Not really. Do I want to make it cheaper? Probably. Make it cheaper could be useful, yeah? I feel like making it cheaper is like one of the worst upgrades that I can do, though. It keeps making my guy have t more and more tanks. M more life and more and more spikes. But... It just keeps giving him 10 life and spikes, but do I want to keep making him have spikes? I don't really think I want to keep making him have spikes. I mean, I can keep doing it. Two costs, keep getting more and more spikes. 
There's better upgrades than this. You can't power stone, man. It's only for things that, like, do... Things like damage or restore. Fine. Let's beef it up. Let's do it. Uh, let's remove one of these uh, torches. I'll save some go for another shop. I might as well upgrade one of my restores. You know, give 12 health. Why not? It's pretty good. We're driven it. And let's see what we got. I don't know when the game ends. I, I, I will reroll it at the final shop. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth, and you may be rewarded if you are deemed worthy. You don't often make offerings to unknown beasts, but you consider making an exception for this cave. Do you toss in your tribute? Let's lose five life. A loud belch emerges from the shadowy depths. Your tribute disappears into the darkness, but no recognition of your worth follows. Your worth has yet to be determined. Only further tribute which sway us further. We lose five more life. 25% chance. A loud belch emerges from the shadowy depths. Your tribute disappears into the darkness, but no recognition of your worth follows. We continue to question your worth. Only further tribute which sway us further. Boom. Iron drop cage. Apply days three to enemy units that are moved between floors outside of the ascension phase. Apply days three. A unit with days skips its next attack. Days three to the enemy units that move between floors outside. Okay, that's just a good relic. If it's doing some, some tricky stuff, it's trying to move around. Hey, you're dazed. It's pretty damn good. What's up, Legend Killer? We've deemed you worthy. Well, well, well. Not bad. And if you can move units with spells, then you can make them dazed. So, there's things called... There's things that can make him... Yeah, there's some interesting combos. The Harpy's Guard. Heavy-hitting, clipped warriors will protect this Harpy at any cost. They will, give, they will gain more power with each foe slain. So make sure to defeat them before they thin out your defense. So they have Slay as well. Okay, enemy units enter with 10 armor. I get 150 gold for that. Is that too much? Am I, am I being too crazy if I give my units, to, give them 10 armor? 10 armor? The things, I have Glimmer, and Glimmer just gets rid of 10 damage. So I kind of want to like take the, get the gold. Am I being greedy? I don't know how hard this fight is. There's a lot of Glimmer. I, don't, I, only, don't have, I only have three Glimmers, but let's fucking do it. Harpy's disgusting. Uh-oh, well, I might be dead here. And they have a lot of armor. I think our deck's pretty nice, though. Oh, shit. This guy attacks everybody. After dealing killing blow, he gains rage. Okay. Well, well, well. Alright, so let's put this guy here. Boom. Put this guy in the back. Okay. After you summon the second unit, you gain energy. Oh, that's nice. Get some card draw. Store. And you go chill over here. I wish I had more energy to utilize. This guy's not dead yet. But soon he will be. I need to, re I need to restore this guy. There's my glimmer. I want to heal this guy. But I want this guy to die as well. Oh, wait. I want to kill that thing as well. Fuck. I have a lot of things I could do. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, I don't have to... This guy's not going to die anytime soon, right? So. And I want to glimmer this right here. Does this thing attack? It doesn't attack, right? 
So like if they don't attack I'll do this. Glimmer is really good for regeneration and the guy needs a lot of life. But then I don't kill these things. Did I value my train steward at all, though? Psycho of life, this guy. We'll keep doing some psycho of life. Oh, we got some gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And this guy's gonna be striking some spikes. And it, we have a lot of glimmers. We can heal this guy. We're not winged. We are stronger. This guy has 50 armor. Oh wow, look at that card draw, holy shit. I wanted to keep regenerating this guy. That's actually a really good restorer. Holy shit. Okay. I'll put this guy up here then, why not? And let's keep giving me cycle of life. I would just keep scaling him up a cycle of life. Play my unit so I can keep getting my skills, yep. I want to get slaying my guy in the back, but he's not being slayed. I mean, this, this guy is so tanky and so crazy as it is. He has rage, like... Man, it's just nuts. Uh, I'm playing some of these units because I don't really care about them, right? I don't have space for these units. Unfortunate. I should keep making them go powerful, yes. 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 Get stronger. I I don't, where do I have space for the water here? Keep giving this guy region, right? He has how much right now? Two region, 16 spikes? This guy's a tank. Final wave. Do you remember these crystals? Alright, we cycle left. Okay, so she's already dead. I already won. What's going on? Yo, Ed Gower, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I, I had three today. Three. One, two, three. Okay, uh, what do we got? That's not bad. That was good. That was good. Uh, right now we're doing some crazy stuff. Wait a minute. Wait, does this mean it doubles what's going on with it? Spends oh X cost. Okay, spends all of your remaining ember. Their amount. Oh my god. I mean, we don't lose rage either. Oh, there's a lot of things to think about here. So rage serum applies rage, straight up. This applies rage and armor, and we don't lose rage because of our artifact. This does 100 damage to friendly and enemy units. I'm taking the spike of the Hellhorns. Like... Yeah, I'm taking the spike of the Hellhorns. That sounds nice. Because we can get 6 energy. By, by, we can get a lot of energy. We play the second unit in the turn. We can get a lot of energy and turn that into like rage and armor. Um, descend a unit and restore 10 health. So if we descend a unit, we could make it get dazed, right? So let's say a unit got away from us, we bring it back down, but then we make it dazed. So it won't attack back. And that can help me get slay on it. It's pretty good. I don't want to blip my deck too much though. 
Because I don't want to keep seeing the descent too often, but that seems like a one of, but it's quite nice to have. Uh, should we can remove some cards. We can upgrade our units. And we can get some power health. We can go for trinkets. This guy can buy artifacts. I think I gotta do it. I gotta buy the artifacts. Wait, you think it's only for friendlies? The send is only for friendlies. I should remove that. Wait, it's only for friendlies? I should remove that. Works on enemies? Okay, good. Uh, I do want to remove, guys. Because I just added some cards. So, like I say, I want to remove maybe, like, one of these restores, one of these torches. No, at this point, I like the restores. Just remove, like, two of the torches, in my opinion. But it's tempting because this is a, a merchant of trinkets. We got to do the merchant of trinkets. We got to do it. Oh, look at this guy. The historian makes his way towards the train in his unusual carriage. Hellborn, how fortunate am I that our travels have finally crossed paths. I am recording the events of Armageddon for posterity. Possibly futile, I know, but I shall make a fortune if you do, somehow, succeed. So, would you characterize yourself as a honest, aggressive, or stealthy? Uh... Do you want gold, gift of gratitude, or petty theft? Oh, we can see them. Gain three... Whoa. Spends all of your remaining ember. The amount spent magnifies the results. You get gold times the amount of energy you have. Your pirate gets plus one attack for every 10 gold you have. I currently have 46 of that. So I guess my pirate gets 46 attack. And this, is, this is an artifact that is contextual. So... If I get more gold, my pirate has more attack. But at the moment, my pirate is never getting touched. Now, I don't know how hard the game's going to get. But I'm doing some stuff with my units that I don't think I want to make my pirate get a lot of attack. I mean, that's really good, to be honest. My pirate can be pretty strong. Eh, I don't know. You deal two damage to an enemy unit. If you kill them, you gain 50 gold. This is a spell that if you kill him, you get 50 gold. It's hand agreed. But it only does two damage. To be honest... It looks like this is the best. You just get a one-time gift of gratitude, get a lot of gold, and just carry on. Yeah, I can get some gold, petty thief, but like, it's only two damage. It's kind of hard to actually make that use. Gratitude seems fine. Interesting indeed, and quite uncharacteristic of Hellborn, though by no means unwelcome. Perhaps those good intentions will carry us past these dark times. Here's something for your, for your assistance. Best of luck to you in battles ahead. So let's get the gold over here. Let's get some merch. Let's get some trinkets. What do we got here? Alright. Root split mask. Apply rooted to an enemy unit when they enter the floor below the pyre room. That seems useful. Straight up just seems like a useful thing. Friendly units enter with three rage? Absolutely. I'm saying yes to that. Now they get plus three health. I think we apply rooted. That seems like it's pretty useful. So again, rage does not decrease, guys. So my guy, my units just have more strength, and it never decreases. It's really nice. Roosevelt seems like it might save me sometimes. Does it though? So if they get to the floor right below the pyre room, and I don't have my units there, and I can't move my units up, that buys me time for spells, I guess. I'll do it. <laughs> Although, I do think that making my units come in with 3 life is not bad either. I could have even saved my money, to be honest. I wasn't really sold about that relic. I could have saved my money there. <laughs> Fell the wings of light. This clipped warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your soul. Wrath Crest. Alabaster Guardians have multi-strike. Fell empowers units with rage. So they multi-strike and they're going to get rage. Interesting. Yeah, my pyres are the lowest floor at the moment, exactly. Since I'm playing all my units at the bottom, my, basically my... Wait, what the hell? Is this the final boss? 
Rage and Multi Strike is a little bit intense. Okay. Can't move between floors or change positions, but they will be getting Rage whenever she comes here. So I just leave this guy alone because at the moment, his Rage is going to go down. The statue's rage is gonna go down, so I'm gonna focus on killing some of these things. But I gotta be mindful that this guy right here, he's gonna climb up, and then he's gonna try to probably reach my pyre. So maybe I should put my units on top and focus on getting some kills on top. So when they reach this floor right here, I can manage them. Because if I if I set up right here, when these, how am I gonna handle these guys when they reach top? You know what I mean? So I just set up up here then. What happens if I descend a unit down? So if it's a mobile, the descend doesn't work on it? I'm kind of curious, like, if I put this statue down, can it somehow, um, like, just die because it doesn't have space? You can't move it? So it's immobile. Okay, got it. I mean, it does say immobile, so I guess what I could do is just restore health here, right? But then he goes down. But he... The fact that he gets regeneration is pretty good. But then he has to fight this rage monster. And I can't bring it back up. Fuck it. Okay. So. I think the descend card was a little bit of a bad pickup. But this is good because we're taking damage. And then we're going to read. We're drawing three cards from the card that we played. So we're going to have a lot of cards and a lot of energy. When it, takes, when it takes damage, I get energy. So I could just do gift. I could, hey, look, 180 gold. Fuck it. I'm tanking this round. Nah, I don't really feel like doing that, but maybe I do do that, because I have Glimmers. What is this guy? When you cast a spell on this floor, it gains 10 armor. When I cast a spell, or when... I can do get the guy at any time, right? Like, I don't have to do it on this battle, per, per se, but... The game's gonna get harder, so I should probably use Gift of Gratitude now, and get it out of the deck. As opposed to like later on when the next game gets harder. When you summon the second unit to turn, you gain three energy. All right, so do I have two units here? I do. All right, and now we can get even more gold. So this guy's gonna kill me. So if I do this, the guy's still dying. Now he's not dying. And now we got a decent amount of gold. And that's out of our deck for good. But that's 210 gold. That's pretty good. Now we want to do some cycle of life stuff. dead as well. He's doing 11 damage. Uh, I can keep this guy alive with Restore, yeah? I can keep this guy alive with Cycle of Life. And I can put this guy down here. And we end turn. Keep our units alive. Nice. Everybody's alive. Oh, except for that guy. I did not pay attention to this floor. That's unfortunate. No worries. Because they're never getting past the top floor. He says as he might die. No, we're not. We're fine. It's just a blind rage. Yikes. This floor is unsavable. Uh, how do we save this floor? 
He's doing 12, and then this guy's doing 11. So in total, I have to block for 23. I can put this in front. And glimmer. Now he's alive. And then I can just I give this guy rage and armor. Um, I always do that. And now he has a lot of damage. Okay, good. Even everybody left. And we're getting energy. The more these guys take a lot, the more energy I'm getting. I don't have enough cards to justify it, but I mean, like, energy is always nice. And we want to draw more glimmers, is what we want. This is nice because this guy's keeping alive my draw mechanic. Ouch. This guy's alive. Let's go ahead and do some glimmers over here. We should cycle this guy up. Restore him. Um, I just, I, I just put these because I don't care about these units. I know that's kind of cruel. But I don't really care about those units. I swept them out of my deck. Things going good, Soma. So let's just keep making this guy huge. Um. That guy's alive now. You can't, I can't use the scent on that guy. I can't use the scent on him. I tried. This is the end for you. Is it? He's doing 11. I want to keep my guy alive. I also want my guy, this guy's already a beef ball. Let's do this. Since he's been taking so much, he deserves a little bit of love, right? So we'll do this. We'll keep, we'll keep this guy getting scaled up with regeneration. And just a crazy thorny boy. And we'll let this guy get a little bit of love too. Because, you know, he's holding the line down. I value him. He's keeping my little custodian alive. And here she goes. I think I just go I go all in on the top floor and we're fine. I just let all this go to go to way. Like she's not getting by the top floor. She's not getting by the top floor here. This guy's gonna kill himself anyways. So Oh you can still no you can still heal him. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um does he have region? He doesn't. Oh, he can still heal though. It only keeps him alive for like... Alright. I don't realize to be that. That's cool. I'm a custodian. It's not getting by the top floor. This guy's huge. Hezo may have saved me, but Seraph made me who I am. But you're dead. Boom. All 
right. So much stuff is n nerfed. Wait, from what I'm playing now? All right, we got rare. We got some major enhancements. Apply quick. What is quick? Attacks before... Holy sh shit. Quick is insane. You can attack before enemy units. Put that on a slayer. He's slain for days. Or you put it on my big beef tank. I mean, they can never do anything. Also, Unleash the Wildwood is kind of insane. Because, like, my guy has a lot of life. And somehow, if the game gets hard and I lose a lot of life on my big tank, well, I can heal him for, like, hundreds. Because he has potential to be hundreds or more. More Spike of the Hellhorned. I mean, I gotta wonder how good this is. Because we have things like Hell Banners. So if we set up early, we can do Hell Banners, right? And then Spike of the Hellhorned on one of my big tanks. And get the rage going. But honestly, I think Quick is so good. I'm sorry, that just sounds stupid. So energy is pretty good. Because we have Spike of the Hellhorned. And more energy means we can do... Well, our deck, our overall cost of our cards are pretty low. So, like, I don't think I need more energy. The only reason I would do it is for Spike. I think what we want, honestly, is either more card draw to get more Glimmers. Or the ability to play one more on a floor. So, for instance, we can put... The way our setup has been working, we can put, like, a, um... A Fledgling Imp in there. But the Fledgling Imp at this point is actually kind of not that great. I think I want card draw at this point. Our glimmers are actually pretty important. Alright, an artifact. Upgrade my spells and gain some health on my pyre. And okay, or duplicate any card except for champion. Okay, so what would we duplicate here? Uh, do we ever duplicate cycle of life? Now that's a good reason to uh, get more energy because you can do more cycle of life stuff. What else? What if we make two quicks? So now we can have a quick on our... Not only our big beef, but we have a quick on our champion as well. And we can do two quicks. Let's do it. No problem, fireworks. Two ornate chests have emerged from the thawing ice. Both chests have a strange lock mechanism that look like they could be picked from, with shards from the pyre. The more decorated chests might take a few more tries, though. Do you break off some of your pyre to get what's inside? Sure. Uh, let's do it. That's a lot of... Alright, we're doing it. We're rich. Revealing the wealth within. We're just... We're just greedy boy. We're a greedy boy. Alright. So, we're gonna... Duplicate... In my opinion, duplicating the quick seems to be very nice. But maybe I'm just like... Maybe I'm being silly. I feel like if my my floor, my death floor, they both have quick... That just that's, that seems kind of insane. There's also... Double cycle of life. I just don't know if I have time to play... Or enough energy to play two cycles of life. I'm doing it. I like it. Alright. Our champion now has Reaper 2 or a Wrathful 2. Alright, so... He gains 6 rage, so even more attack. But he's not really getting Slay. So I'm doing the Hornbreaker Prince because... It gives him rage... When he gets hit. And he's not really... Slain. Ah, but over here, Reaper 2 gives me... Ah. But here's the thing. Now that he gets quick, if he gets quick... If he gets quick, then now the slay is actually probably useful. So I'm gonna do the slay. Because quick is gonna make it so that he can actually slay. Let's go. The Penitent. These purifiers will burden you with the weight of your sins until your penance has been paid in full. Non-boss enemies enter with spikes 5. Am I crazy or am I going to take 300 gold here? Now, I know the game's getting harder. You said RP hero?
It's not degree. Ah, but if I don't set up over here, then... After combat, add the ultimate penance to the top of your draw pile. It's a one cost... Okay. I feel like I had to set up a top floor because they get rooted to the top floor, right? I feel like I should always set up the top floor. Because they get rooted at that point, so that... Ah, uh, let me think. He has 130 life, that's quite a bit. If I set up here, okay, then I won't be able to kill him, I don't think. Uh, maybe I will actually, because I, I actually have this. So I, I have Spike of the Hellhorned. That's actually quite nice. So now my guy is like super strong and he can multi-hit them down. Oh no, I have the wrong unit. This is not the multi-hitter. Oh, that's tragic. This meant multi-hitter. Oh, that's tragic. Whoopsies. Well, that's unfortunate. Let me put this unit down. I would do this. I want to give this guy quick so he gets slay. Oh my god, now he has quick and he has slain. Let's go. Did I play two, two units? I should play two units here. If I play two units, I get more energy. Unfortunate. So, the descend is actually quite nice because it gives me the chance. This thing gives me the chance to um, fight the units when I'm more strong, right? It gives me time to scale. This guy has quick as well. He's not my multi-hitter, unfortunately. But these guys are dead now. It's quite nice. This guy is dazed, but he's still gonna move. Uh, without this guy having multi-hit, it's, it's far worse. What does this guy do? He has the... Yeah. I could have done Glimmer on the bottom. My guy's getting a lot of slay though. This is like <laughs> the first time my champion is getting kind of crazy. Now I had to kind of hope that I get the descend again. He's also a day, so he can't really attack. He won't be dazed when he goes up here though, so that's, that's kind of problematic. It also sucks that I'm buffing a guy that doesn't have multi-hit, but it's okay. Could be worse. Ah, uh, so if you try to move a guy who's ready, he will just consume it? Okay, interesting. So, can't, I can't move a guy who's ready, that's good to know. So like this guy right here though, I can move him though, yeah. Ah, uh, but I want to take die image. Uh, I want to I wanna play my cycle of life. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to protect my spire, because I don't- my, my, my pyre, I don't know how much- I don't know how much my pyre is uh, going to be taken later on. Not cycling is quite unfortunate. Maybe that might have been a mistake. This is the guy that I want to buff up anyways. I need this guy to, he's gonna go up. Oh, he's gonna take a lot of damage here though. And this guy's dazed. 
So this guy's the pirate can take the pirate has armor. This is fine. The pirate has enough armor. I feel I feel the same way. I feel like I helped with development of State Spire because I was playing it so heavily uh, and streaming it and making videos and and I, I added suggestions. But I didn't cycle my health side, so it, I might lose to this guy. He has 25 attack, and I didn't cycle my health. Um, he doesn't have that much life, actually. I need some time, I guess. Probably dead, yeah, because it's the wrong unit and I didn't cycle. Absolutely. I'm probably dead. My deck's only 15 cards in the moment. But there's a world where I'm dead. Oh, I win. Well, that's all it took. And you can never just. Okay. Damn, look at my look at my guy. 142 damage. He got slayed, so look at that. Boom. Man. My champion is doing work. Okay. I probably could have gotten the goal from that. I probably got a trial. Next time I won't be a little pansy. Alright. Apply three rage and armor five. Uh well we don't lose rage, but I'm trying to get too many skills that I don't actually want, right? I think this is good, actually. Because... I have... Actually, I have a single card that does x cost, and that's... Um, spike of the Hellhorn. So, there's a world where I could do this, gain energy, and do Spike of the Hellhorn, but on average, it actually doesn't do much. I might just skip here, honestly. Just does 5 damage and applies 20 armor. And Flame's nuts. Is it nuts compared to my guy has uh, rage from just healing him? It means it's a hundred percent skip. So give a unit some spikes and then it's out of your deck. I mean, sure, whatever. It's a it's a one-time thing, right? Do I actually value four spikes that much? Sure, whatever. I'll take it. I mean. It exhausts itself. I can't ask for too much. So give us some Spire, some Pyre health. I keep saying Spire. Duplicate any card except for Champion. So we can duplicate something else again. Um, that includes maybe more Spike of the Hellhorn. I think that's pretty good. I like this because I I do have the ability to get a lot of energy with Hell Banner, and I can just set it up early. I think I like Spike of the Hellhorn here. Over here we have new. We have a lot of gold. Wow, we can upgrade our spells. What spells do we want to upgrade? So if we go to here and upgrade our spells, we can upgrade our um, our spike of the hellhorn. I, I like having two tanks. I'll just be more mindful of seeing the guy who has range, right? Or has rage. Uh, I also would probably rather upgrade the spike of the hellhorn before I duplicate it. Also, unstable vortex means I can remove two cards, so I can remove things like at this point the torches are terrible. At this point, the, per the torches are terrible. Uh, let's do some removal. Okay. So we have more help. More hold over. All right, and that wants to be on something like what? None of these really. I guess the 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 upgraded restore, so I can keep my tank alive. Give him 12 health. Eh. I might want to re-roll this. Let's see what else I can do power stone wise. I can upgrade another restore. That's not bad. I feel like on average, like having 12 restores, actually, it's not bad. And these are this is che relatively cheap enough that like I'm okay with making some of these things cheaper. 
I'll purge uh, a torch here. Now I'm gonna re-roll. Okay, I'm trying to think what would want hold over though. What would want hold over here? Like, uh, what do I want to cycle? I can try to cycle some of these restores. I don't feel like that's that good. I go the trinket thing first. True. True. Absolutely true. Your spire gets your pyre gets forty HP. When you play the third card of your turn, draw two. That's amazing. Oh my god. Region restores one health per stack. We do a lot of region stuff. So every stack of region restores an extra health. That could be handy. But I want to go re-roll the other thing for the spells. But maybe we just buy the health? It's 200 gold. Might need it, right? What if we re-roll and buy find some other ones? Magic power? All my things- that's amazing. Units get an extra upgrade slot. Wait a minute, how much more of the game do I have? Because I could upgrade... Does that also include my champion? No, my champion is separate. But I, I can upgrade my, my big tanky guy even more. I don't know how much more of the game there is. And I don't know how much gold I'm going to get to upgrade units. Whereas I could just get magic power. Let me see. This is like, this is like, this is like the final boss. Wait. 100% this is the end of the game. So let's just go magic power. Remove. Um, at this point, the torches are a little bit better, so I'll remove the stewards, right? But the stewards help me get energy with the hell of the thing. Nah, we'll get rid of the stewards. Yeah, let's get rid of these stewards. Ah, but they, nah, let's get rid of the stewards. <laughs> okay. And then let's go back over here and let's re roll. Or we can do either re roll and maybe get like some other upgrades or just do hold over and try to see what would want hold over. I feel like my deck is pretty good. I wish I could have upgraded this spike, but unfortunately I couldn't. Let's do a reroll and see what we get. Maybe we get some cheaper stuff like this. Search stone and upgrade a spell. Whoa! So we can have make we can make one of the torches be like a one-time ping for a lot of damage. And it gets out of the deck. That could be useful. We still have one torch in the deck. Sure. And then we'll make something cheaper, like for instance, this Restoring Retreat. I like that card. It's very useful. And we're done, guys. We're ready to fight the final boss. Wait, there's a tome? Where? What are you talking about? I missed something? Okay. Shit, you scared me. This is condition of Hell's Greatest Foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. So... Things like my region and my spikes? Seraph remove any half of any debuff and deepest effects decks. So they're going to remove my spikes and my regions, right? And my rage as well. Wow. 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 Also, when I apply days, I get half day. It does half of days. That's unfortunate. Also, this is a really bad hand. As far as hands go, this is really bad. This is the worst one. So I don't want to... All right, this is the bad guy. So I'm gonna put this guy here. And I don't wanna put my, my Hornbreaker Prince behind him. I just wanna get this guy out of the way. Wait, how is this guy dead already? Ah, nice. All right. I don't wanna give him spikes, but I mean, she's gonna keep... 
Wait, isn't she gonna keep getting rid of, like, my spikes anyways? I'm putting Prince on the top floor. I'm drawing a lot of cards next turn. I think I keep spikes now, for now. Because she's gonna remove them anyways, yeah? Okay. She rooted? Who got rooted? What was that root I just saw? This is the good one. Where's my spike of the Hellhorn? So if I give this guy quick, and if I play another thing, for instance, let's say I play, uh, let's give this guy, let's put this here. Got card drop, beautiful. We can put this guy here, get some energy. I gave this guy quick as well. But I don't want to give him quick because I want this guy to get slay, right? So for me, it's important that this guy is getting all the slay. So I don't want to give him quick. At least not now. You know what I mean? And I don't want to do glimmer because I want this guy to be killed by my, my guy. I, I, that's a free kill. But I want to do glimmer here for sure. I can give this guy quick. That seems fine. And I can heal him as well. Alright, so for, yeah, for me it's very important that my, my, my champion gets big beefy DPS. And we cycle the guy in the front to be a big beefy tanker. Now the problem is she is going to start cleansing some half of this stuff, so let's take a look. Sarah, protect me. Boom! But it's only when she goes to that floor. So, like, it's not like everything gets debuffed. She just has to go to the floor, and then she does that move. So, it's not as bad as I thought it was. What does this thing do? When a unit on this floor dies, it gains 15 armor. Okay. When this unit... Same thing for that guy. Alright. I want to do some damage here because I want this guy to get the kill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch. Uh, I got to cycle this now. Fuck. But now this guy's going to get the slate, which is important to me. I'm not going to do spike yet because it's not that great. I'll put spike on this guy. Although she's going to debuff it. Or get rid of it rather. And we'll heal this guy up a little bit. Now we keep doing spikes, that guy keeps slain, and honestly, we got the system down. We got the cycle down already, and now we've got the slay things going. And our deck is really small at the moment. Yeah, I made him quick deliberately. So, you got slay again. I want to keep doing damage to her with Glimmer, like, I feel like that's pretty good. I can apply rage to nothing. I'll just I'll get this out of my deck. Give it rage, why not? And I want Spike to be played a little bit better in terms of more energy. But maybe I just get it out of the deck at this point. She's gonna remove some of that stuff anyways. And I wanna keep glimmering here so that she just keeps taking some damage. And I'll heal this guy. Beautiful. I am drawing the game. What's up, not so Nicky? I like card games, I like strategy games. It sticks a lot of my boxes. Now she's gonna get rid of my debuffs. I mean my buffs. Alright, so my spikes are down, unfortunate, but you know what? I can handle this. I want the guy to get slay, let's keep that in mind. Might as well spam, spam the restores on these guys because uh, that magic power is actually quite useful. Big hits, big hits. I could have gotten a free hit, so if I focus on 
For instance, let's say I killed that unit and didn't prioritize slay. I could have done like a, a hundred ping on her face. But I'm prioritizing the slay here. Okay. Uh, I want to keep doing like little pings on her. Keep cycling. Keep slaying. Keep healing. That's good. Well, I can do this because the guy gets stronger, so might as well, right? And he needs to be my. He needs to be a really big tank. So I think I should be restoring as often as possible because this tank needs to be massive. This this floor is my final bastion of hope. Tell me they nerfed Seraph, is that what happens? And the ability to root them right before they are on the, the floor below the tire is actually quite nice. Uh, let's heal this guy. And the card draw is quite nice. My deck is just really smooth, uh, smooth running. So we just keep restoring, it's just like, this is great. I got an achievement called Into the Deep Sea. We got an achievement. And this guy's pretty tanky as well. Like, this unit is insane. This Awoken Hollow is an insane unit. Please don't nerf. Oh, she's, so the boss is going now. So at this point, we let these let these guys die. She's nine times three right now. So we just we have extra turns to cycle now, and my guy's gonna slay even more. So this is great. I'm just gonna keep scaling. Wait, can I keep this guy alive a little bit longer though? It's like he does some good damage, so maybe I could do some work here. Eh. Let's just keep doing this. Alright, I think I, I think I, did, I won. Uh, to be honest, um, I don't I don't see her getting past this spiky champion either. The Awaken Hollow just got buffed, so I must be missing those some insane units down the line because this Awoken Hollow is nuts. But maybe there's even more nuts units coming up. Yeah, yeah, I know I can speed up the game. I, I, I'm not going to speed up the game until I, like, I learn the game first. I want my guy to get some slay here. So he's going to slay boom. You can't move these guys down, right? You can't. Can you do restore trade these guys? They can't go down. No, I mean, I, I want to see the animations. I can still get a heal, but it, at this point, it's useless. I can put this guy down. They're all dead anyways. The sending retreat did its job. It did its job. I don't think I lose here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Let's see. This guy's harvesting though. I gotta be careful. Oh, we won! GG!
Let's just, let's just add insult to injury. Heal him. GG. Look at those thorns. Oh, man. Ooh. Slay, slay her, slay her. Boom. Victory. Seraph defeated. Uh, new clan unlock, Stygian Guard. Draft the support of the Ancient Guard of the Stygian Sea. Or is it Stygian or Stygian? Mystical sirens and ancient totems work together to eradicate the wings from hell. Hell yeah. Is there more? I want to do the Frozen Heart. Let's go to the Frozen Heart. Once the Galloween seat of the Pyre, the heart of hell has become a frozen... Couldn't read it. Whoopsies. My first score, guys. Remember, these are the first moments. These are our first moments. Our first 40,000. Covenant rank 1. The Covenant allows you to opt into a higher challenge level and start mastering cards in a victory. Okay, we got Ascension. 